We have been drinking milk for thousands of years, but in recent times, its benefits have been brought into question. Geraldine met one family who has decided to eliminate milk from their diet because of the possible risks. Dairy farming. It's one of our biggest exports, but just how safe is the milk you and your children are drinking? Over the last decade, claims that our milk could be making us sick have been getting louder and louder. I think there are some quite big forces out there who have not wanted this story to come out. Most of New Zealand's milk comes from cows that produce what's called A1 milk. Some say the protein fragment formed when we digest this milk may be linked to several diseases, including the autoimmune type 1 diabetes. Authorities say there's not enough evidence to prove this and that A1 milk is safe to drink. Keith Woodford, author of Devil in the Milk, disagrees. There's both facts and controversies associated with the A1 beta casein. So the facts are that it has one amino acid that is different from the A2. The facts are that that causes it to digest differently and that it can release this um, little peptide or fragment. This little peptide has opioid or, or morphine characteristics. It's not exactly the type of little drug or peptide that we want in our bodies. It's what I call the milk devil. Although physically there is no difference between this cow and any other, the milk she will produce is pure A2 and therefore free from that controversial protein fragment. Now if we went back some thousands of years, all cattle were A2 and at some stage there's just been a chance mutation which has led to some cattle producing what is now called the A1 beta casein. This mutation is only in European cattle so if we go to Asia or Africa we find that the milk there is predominantly A2 not necessarily a hundred percent A2 because European cattle have been spread all around the world. Six-year-old Emma Costa was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes just under a year ago. Her parents were baffled at her diagnosis as no one in their family history has ever had the typically genetic disease. I didn't know anything at all about diabetes. Um, was no, nobody in either of our families has ever had it that we know of. This is very frustrating is because I want to know about everything about the type diabetes type 1, but there's not many book in Japan because not many type type 1 diabetes people. It, it's um, um, a little bit hard for my parents because they, they need to um, do my injections in my blood tests. When the Costas began to search for answers, they stumbled across Woodford's book. Yeah, I guess we we're trying to um, uh, find some explanation for it. It mm. just seemed to come out of nowhere. And um, we just wondered whether this might be somehow linked to her getting diabetes. Well, when we look at an individual child, we definitely can't say that that child's diabetes was caused by A1 beta casein. But what we can say is when we look across all of the developed countries, there's a huge difference in the incidence of type 1 diabetes from country to country. And the one thing that this correlates with exceptionally clearly and very, very strongly is the intake of the A1 beta casein. None of this is new. Research into these claims began in the early 90s, which was later reviewed by former New Zealand Heart Foundation medical director Boyd Swinburne. However, the outcomes of this review have been brought into question. It left unanswered some questions and he himself said in the um, executive summary of the report that some further work should be done. Uh, it seems to me that there's a bit of a, a gap in the system so that it isn't actually the New Zealand Food Safety Authority's uh, role to undertake this type of research and so when the recommendation came through that further research should be done, nobody really picked up on it. So it was very, very badly managed 
with the Food Safety Authority doing their utmost to put a lid on the whole issue, to claim that all milk was equally safe, when that was simply not true in terms of what Professor Swinburne said. He himself said if he had a child that was diabetic and then he was to become the parent of another child, because clearly there could be an increased risk factor, then he would go some e to some effort to obtain A2 milk for that second child. The Costas were convinced enough to swap their second child onto A2 milk. Throughout this controversy, the New Zealand Food Safety Authority has maintained the position that A1 milk is safe to drink. The Food Safety Minister says she has no stance on the issue but welcomes an independent study currently being undertaken by the European Food Safety Authority. With respect to the A1, A2 milk issue, we've got the European Food Safety Authority having taken up the issue, which I guess in some respects lets us off the hook. As a country, we were going to do a review into the science. Uh, that's really not necessary when you've got a, an organisation of the standing of the European Food Safety Authority. This is a completely independent body. They are not going to be influenced or in any way biased with respect to either side of the argument. And therefore, I think we know that we've got a credible body that's able to deliver quality results. And that's what I'm looking forward to. While Keith says breeding our herds over to A2 cows would only take five to ten years, this would have serious ramifications to New Zealand's economy and the multi-billion dollar company Fonterra. Asia Down Under contacted Fonterra, who supply milk to New Zealand and over 140 other countries. They refused to appear on camera, saying it would be inappropriate for them to comment. The Federated Farmers of New Zealand are also unconvinced. I am no more worried about the possible harmful consequences of A1 milk than I am about the sky falling in in the Asterix books because at the moment we have no evidence which says this is going to happen. Um, what we do have is we have 50 years of drinking milk and doing well from it. Uh, so we really need something which is a bit more um, substantial than some of the things that we've had now which tend to relate to things about marketing exercise. I've faced some criticism from my work typically by people who have associations with the dairy industry and by the Food Safety Authority. They've all been quick to make general criticisms such as this isn't true or uh, we don't believe it. None of them have been prepared to engage me on the science. I haven't read the book and I haven't checked to find out for myself. Um, I have a lot of respect from Keith in terms of the work that he does, but I think the emotion around this argument at the moment is too strong and we actually do need some really firm evidence one way or the other. The Costas will never know for sure what caused Emma's diabetes, and if in fact it was linked to her milk. But they would rather be safe than sorry. Of course, no one really knows what causes type 1 diabetes at the moment, but um, if there is any possible link between milk, um, we'd rather pay the extra and buy the A2 milk and uh, hopefully um, cutting out that um, possible cause. So far, so good. James is free from any signs that diabetes is developing. The results from the European Food Safety Authority are expected by the end of the year.